Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 My Cam playlist. So, it's a brand new playlist I'm going to be creating where I'm going to be displaying different sort of camps. And I want to show you the first camp that I actually built. I had it running for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I, I also want to share a sad story. I, I will have a two minute clip going on, uh, like in a bit. So, I'll warn you. Plus, the music is going to be a bit louder than usual, but it's kind of like to make it a little bit more dramatic. And after that, I'll show you the camp that I actually got to build. So, I really want to hear your feedback on this and what do you feel of such videos shall I be sharing what sort of camps I build or not I'm just really curious if this would something some if this would be something good for the channel all right so let's jump to the show with the drama and then we'll get to the camp show <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that little clip over there. <laughs> How was the music, by the way? It took me some while to find that that, that, that song, you know? <laughs> so it, I hope it wasn't too loud, though. Anyway, so I thought the good thing was going to be start to start off with my sort of bedroom over here, where I've been doing a couple of videos for the uh, limited time to buy items, including that mask over there. And uh, those two are also uh, sort of from the item shop. Uh, then we got a couple of uh, like sort of posters or whatever like so it's a really small house with a good-looking bed and a few good paintings and all <laughs> so I got a guitar over there so uh, I use the guitar to increase my AP uh, when playing it to get the uh, well-tuned buff then we got these balloons over here I was just checking them out it's from the Patnach to parade the the new event that is going on and let's go check what else we got here so we open the door we'll have a few lights over here uh, we have my little sort of farm for alcohol making especially for beer this guy loves to make beer I'm not sure if I'll be doing uh, in the de in detailed uh, guide about making alcohol because it's actually pretty easy and straight to the point so the, fo the location is actually at the White Springs Golf Club. I wasn't planning to start my first camp from this place, but I'm trying to farm some good legendaries for myself, and uh, then I was planning to move this camp. But even though I have the stupid pacifist mode on, and uh, somehow my base still got freaking destroyed, 
<laughs> and I got no idea how the hell that happened, like zero clues. I wasn't even informed or anything, like zero. I was doing, like, I literally logged into the game today and I started doing the, uh, uh, the quest. So I was running around doing some events over there because there were some really good ones that I like and I do them as soon as they pop up. So I was, like, I logged into the server for about uh, five minutes. Uh, I mean, I've been playing in the events for about 30 minutes. The base was okay. I come back, it's totally destroyed. So no notifications, nothing. <laughs> so, I was, so I just wanted to share, kind of share that story with you. So this is how my sort of fort looks like, right? So I just got a couple of uh, missile launchers over here. I used to have an artillery, by the way, but uh, I don't know, I kind of decided to remove it. Actually, it was m way more good looking, but I actually just remembered uh, about the artillery to be precise. I was testing out this thing from the Atom Shop, makes some pretty cool noise. Especially if you click it a couple of times. <laughs> Not sure if you can hear that. Anyway, uh, when I was actually buying it, I thought that we were, we were to buy only the horn, and then and then it's this guy over here, and that guy's annoying me. <laughs> hey, by the way, we got one NPC. <laughs> so, let's continue. So, I got my generator on top, one more rocket launcher. On the first floor, we got some more posters. We have the switch thing that can put it on. Uh... I mean, put up the gates, put them back on, the welcome home sign, uh, this sort of uh, flaming thing, I got it from the event, and this thing from the event as well. So we got some posters, then we've got all possible uh, crafting stations with the uh, stash box. On the second floor we've got the alchemy, the cooking, and the beer machine. By the way, how's my beer? Oh, we got some more beer. Let's go. Give me my beer. <laughs> so the welcome home p party poster. That's if uh, you haven't, if a new player had never started yet, he will be able to start it here. But there's way easier. You can find those pretty much on every single station, wherever you go. And uh, over here, just a bunch of lights, and that's pretty much it. So really, sort of basic, sort of fort. I'm trying to farm more plants so I can actually build something good. I don't have a lot of experience in building bases. I haven't built bases in Fallout 4, so you can say this is my first sort of okay camp. <laughs> I mean, I'm sort of happy, but sort of not happy because I could have made a lot more, but the budget is like really tight. Even though the, uh, those missile launchers take way less budget, and it's still sort of like, ah the budget man <laughs> and stash and whatever I'm still gonna rebuild this and I'm thinking of where to move uh, because I want to have some sort of a, a new one with a good house sort of a mansion uh, and uh, with my own bar and uh, the vendor the vendoring thing that's coming so I want to prepare for that actually I don't remember when the hell that's happening but pr pretty time soon so definitely this thing is gonna be moving and uh, it's a good place for like farming for the legendaries, but essentially you don't get uh, sort of a lot of experience because you don't have the time to shoot first. Because usually your turns, depending on how many you put, uh, they will kill everything for you. <laughs> so uh, I guess some people did not like that. Some guys did like it because I usually drop over here everything that I don't need, including legendaries, two stars as well. Three stars I'm currently keeping for myself for the uh, legendary vendoring. So actually, you know what? Let's make a little showcase about the legendaries that I got. This fat man I actually got like a few days ago from this place, and it's a three-star one. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. It can one-shot no problem if you have the correct perk cards and everything. Uh, in reality, I have like double the damage. I just turned off my perk cards for the build because I had to redo everything, man. So we then we got an artillery smoke. Why the hell I, do I have this thing inside? Uh, let's take that out and drop it outside. So we got the dagger over here. Uh, it's a three star. And what else do we have here? Ah oh, man. Let's just go like sort of like that. You can pause the video at any time to take a look if you want to dive into more details about these things. So I'm not sure if I read correctly, I haven't had the time to dive into the legendary merchant and, uh, machine etc. Because 
you know, uh, looking for a new job right now and uh, just literally no time for nothing. Uh, just focus on totally different things right now. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking maybe uh, if I read one of the posts where are we actually going to be able to uh, sort of scrap legendaries to get the modifications and then actually make our own stuff? Because if that's the case, man, that's going to be pretty cool. But I hope they're going to make it very expensive so you guys don't... Players like us, all of us, <laughs> don't take abuse of it, you know. So it's, I hope it's not going to be something very easy to get. Well, I like when it's difficult. It kind of keeps you going. If it's everything is easy, you can get bored with the game with ease. I don't know, but with Fallout 76, I still haven't. I didn't get bored with it since beta. It's like wow. For me, it's actually a big wow because uh, previously I used to play online games. It's like I would play for three, four months. And that's it. I'm bored. The only game that kept me going for a little bit, like almost a year, was ESO. That's it. But even then, I got bored too. So these are sort of the guns that I have, and a whole bunch of freaking outfits as well. Well, nothing too special about the uh, armor. I'm not sure if I. Hey, let's just quickly cover those. Oh, I can see someone is by my base. So it's sort of like that. With a whole bunch of <laughs> outfits. I still need to make more. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, I think I've covered them all, including the posters. I don't really remember where I got the poster. But the base is cool. The statue is cool. That horn is cool. I like blowing when things blow up. And you know, for the parade, let's boom. Make a little firework. Last time I shot two at the same time, and one of them disappeared. So guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think about my camp? And uh, you know what would be really cool? If Bethesda would please notify once your comp camp is getting attacked so you at least have the chance to jump back and defend it. I mean, this is ridiculous. You just come back and there's nothing there. <laughs> it's like the same thing I would rebuild it. I leave right now to do some sort of events. I come back and it's dead again. <laughs> some sort of a notification would be good at least. <laughs> right <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to double thumbs up <laughs> just kidding anyway if you like follow 76 videos and just like what you saw right now uh, feel free to subscribe for more if you got any bright ideas for this channel what sort of videos you would like for me to do that would be superb I s I've noticed that ever since I started doing more editing uh, I see the channel has got that boost, so I'm still learning how to edit and uh, hopefully we'll take this editing skills to the next level. And Z Clay, thank you for all the love and all the support. And I'll see you in the next video. Leave your comments, I'll always get back to you. You have a good one day and night, whatever you guys like it at.